I talked to one of my great friends this week, a physician as well as a lawyer, and I suggested that maybe the three of us write an article for the National Post about the state of um, regulatory bodies in Ontario and in Canada more generally, in the West more generally. The worst thing the college can do to me is to spend my license and make a public statement that because of my refusal to comply with their dictates, I'm no longer um, acceptable as a licensed clinical psychologist. I can probably get licensed in a jurisdiction like Florida. But what, person. even being in Canada is unpleasant now. I feel like the political landscape has ruined the country and it's because of people who hide behind well, or just hide in anonymity and pressure other people for being harmful. Yeah, using bureaucracy. Yeah, so yeah. whatever. They shouldn't be bullying Yeah, people. well... well and they're not just bullying why... you. Like, obviously, they're, we've had other doctors reach out to say that they're being pressured, their license is being pressured because of their conservative opinions on Twitter. That's not what these yeah, regulatory well, I, courts I talk... are for. I talked to one of my great friends this week, a physician, as well as a lawyer, and I suggested that maybe the three of us write an article for the National Post about the state of um, regulatory bodies in Ontario and in Canada more generally, in the West more generally. But the point is that even though he's a very brave man and he's made a lot of public statements already, he's intimidated enough by the College of Physicians so that even though he knows that this would be politically effective, he feels that he's not well defended enough yet to take this on fully. One of the things that made me able to do this from the beginning when the university came after me was that I had three independent streams of income. I could lose two of those, any two of those, without you know, being destitute and putting my family at risk. The worst thing the college can do to me is well, the worst thing they can do is suspend my license and make a public statement that because of my refusal to comply with their dictates, I'm no longer um, acceptable as a licensed clinical psychologist. I don't want to be in a position where faceless bureaucrats motivated by a political agenda and whatever envy and resentment they carry in their dark and nasty little hearts have the opportunity to strip me of something that I spent a decade of extremely hard work earning. I can probably get licensed in a jurisdiction like Florida. The bodies that govern the training programs for clinical psychologists in Canada, the Canadian Psychological Association, has increasingly moved to make it mandatory for universities that offer clinical psychology training. We're entering a situation where the universities themselves are required to ensure that your physicians and your psychologists are of a particular political stripe, which essentially means radically left, not just left, but radically left, like social justice, full, woke, critical racist theory, oppressive, patriarchal, narrative, feminist, left wing, or the institution itself will not be allowed to train physicians or psychologists. If I decide in a year that I don't want to be a licensed clinical psychologist because the whole damn profession has become corrupt, that's a whole different issue than letting this pack of craven commissar cowards organize behind the, ski, the scenes, utilize the complaints of random people online to justify their own envy and desire to prosecute and then fold in the yeah. face of that opposition. It's like, I'm not going to do that. The only thing you have in a complex situation is the truth. That's all you have. That's why you have to abide by the truth, you know, because when things get complex around you, how do I deal with this politically? How do I deal with this personally? What do I say in this terribly complex situation? All you have there that's solid ground is the truth. And, and one of the things to reflect upon in relationship to that is, that's also why you have to live honestly. The reason you abide by the truth is so that you can say what you have to say about what you've done and who you are, and you can do that under impossibly difficult circumstances, and possibly that will sustain you through that. In, you know, in circumstances where if that's not possible, you're just gonna get crushed. You know, and people might say, well, being investigated by 
your professional body isn't exactly a life-threatening event and you're just whining. It's like, look, for all you people who think that this is such a walk in the park, I'll tell you two things. Number one, I've known about 200 people who face this sort of thing now. Those of you who think this is a cakewalk, you just bloody well wait till your neighbors show up on your doorstep with pitchforks and torches, and you just see what that's like for yourself. So you better watch yourself very carefully if you think that the people who are complaining about being mobbed are just complaining because they can't take it.